how to find the right balance between on one hand, encouraging kids to do the best, achieve their dreams, strive. And then on the other hand, stepping back, letting them find their own path. And this particularly is coming from a mom uh, of a 14 year old, a twice exceptional kiddo. I love our two E kids. They're so amazing. I mean, really so interesting and, um, and so incredibly capable. It's really the, the rest of us need to kind of like figure them out and come up alongside because they're amazing. Amazing. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to start my answer with, um, where we started the podcast, which is, you know, I think it's so important that finding their own path is truly finding their path and that we're really careful about how much we care. Cause we do, we want them to have such great success and there's nothing wrong with success or achievement. Um, as long as that's not the whole thing we're focused on, right? We love it when our kids do well, but really a lot of times it just, even when we're trying, it so sneaks in to, I, I just feel myself doing it all the time, even though I'm aware of it is that I often without meaning to am inserting agenda all the time in my conversations with my kids. I can't, I'm like, I don't want to say I can't help it, but I'll say I'm working. I'm still working on it. And I think, you know, we really want it to be their path, which means closing our mouths and listening more, um, which really is, is inviting them to say, you know, what is your plan? Um, I'm a huge fan of uh, Bill Sticksred and Ned, jo- uh, Ned Johnson's book, The Self-Driven Child. And they have a new one coming out um, this, you know, soon um, called What Do You Say? That's full of great ways for us to remember how to do this. But remembering it really is their path. So instead of saying you need to, even if you're saying you need to do this, this, and this, so you can figure out what your path is, it's so much better to say, you know, what is, what are you thinking about? Um, and just say as little as possible, you know, what is your plan to figure out what you really want to invest yourself into in terms of your extracurriculars this fall? What have you been thinking about? Instead of like, you need to pick something and you need to pick it by this date. Like, obviously, sometimes as parents, we have to be more directive like that. But I think what I would say first and foremost is that you will find the right balance if you constantly are checking yourself about your own agenda and you're, and I I'm with you, I'm working on it too. Um, and we really remember that these are our children's paths. And as much as I say, experience matters and what we do as parents matters, I believe that wholeheartedly and our children are their own people. And, you know, my children, two of my children could not be more different from each other. That is who they are. And, um, so it really is in lots of ways, getting out of their way. And that's so hard to do. I said that to my kid the other day, I was like, ah, I wish parents would just get out of the way. And, um, it was actually a mom that was asking me, her daughter is like middle school and her mom was asking me, um, to talk to her about what it would be like to be a professor when she grew up. And I was like, well, we still have a lot of time. You, you don't need to worry about what you're going to do as a grown up yet. Let's think about some other things. And I, later I told my son, I was like, God, I wish parents would just get out of the way. He's like, didn't you write a book called showing up something about showing up? And I was like, well, it's both. You got to show up emotionally, but get out of their way. So hopefully that's helpful. Just that self-awareness can be really helpful and really let it be their thing. And I'll say one other thing, and that is something I learned from Dr. Michael Thompson, which is to trust development. And particularly with two E kids who often have asynchronous development, like they're going to be way past their peers in certain areas, and then they're going to be behind in other areas and they find their way. And so I think particularly with the two E kid, like trust development to unfold and that they will find their way. Um, and they might need more scaffolding at different times. Um, just make sure that scaffolding isn't taking over too much. So you're doing too much for them so that they accidentally get the message that you don't mean to send, which is, I don't trust that you can handle this. Um, I better do this for you. I better step in because we really want to encourage um, agency and a sense of self-efficacy um, that Bill and um, Ned talk about in their book, The Self-Driven Child as well. Um, so hopefully that'll be helpful. <laughs>